at the resting stage, both voltage-gated sodium ion and potassium ion channels are closed, but sodium-potassium pumps are activated. Polarization occurs. Three sodium ion is actively pumped out, while two potassium ion is actively pumped in. Membrane's resting potential is maintained through the action of two things. Number one, sodium-potassium pump, and number two, ion leak channels. A stimulus will open voltage-gated sodium ion channel. If sodium ion influx achieves the threshold potential, about negative 50 to negative 55 millivolts, an action potential will occur. Upon threshold, more sodium ion rushes in. At the depolarization stage, the voltage-gated sodium ion channels are open, but the voltage-gated potassium ion channels remain closed. Sodium ion enters the cell, causing the inside of the cell to become more positive. The voltage-gated sodium ion channels are only open for a short time, so not all of the sodium ion rushes into the cell. The sudden change in polarity will then open the voltage-gated potassium ion channel, allowing potassium ion to rush out of the cell repolarization. This will make the cell slightly more negative than the outside. Then, during undershoot hyperpolarization, gates of the voltage-gated sodium ion channels are closed, but the voltage-gated potassium ion channels remain open. Because the voltage-gated potassium ion channels are a relatively slow gates, and have not had the time to respond to the repolarization of the membrane. The resting stage is restored through activation of sodium-potassium pump and the closing of voltage-gated potassium and sodium ion channels later, and the system is ready to respond to another stimulus. Refractory period consists of the absolute refractory period and the relative refractory period. During the absolute refractory period, the neuron is insensitive to depolarization. This means it cannot transmit another action potential, no matter how great the stimulus is. When the neurons enter a relative refractory period, the axon can transmit impulses if the stimulus is stronger than usual. At the start, the membrane is completely polarized. When an action potential is initiated, a region of the membrane depolarizes. As a result, the adjacent regions become depolarized. When the adjacent region is depolarized to its threshold, an action potential starts there. Repolarization occurs due to the outward flow of potassium ion. The depolarization spreads forward, triggering an action potential. Depolarization spreads forward, repeating the process. In myelinated neurons, an action potential is usually triggered at the axon hillock, just before the start of the myelin sheets. The depolarization then spreads along the axon. 
because of myelination, the depolarization spreads passively to the next node. The next node reaches its threshold and a new action potential is generated. This cycle is repeated, triggering an action potential at the next node. The process continues. It is said that the impulse jumps from one node of Renvier to another node of Renvier.